got a call that there's a structure fire at approximately 8 o'clock tonight. When our crews arrived, they found heavy fire conditions with fire venting out a window in the upstairs uh, level. Uh, it was obvious from the beginning that uh, this is going to be a labor intensive fire. Uh, recall was issued for, for more manpower. In the end, uh, St. Paul Fire Department, Hastings Fire Department, Grand Island Rural Fire Department, and Grand Island Fire Department all responded with approximately 50 personnel. Uh, there's three ladder trucks on scene. And initially, we tried to do a, an aggressive offensive interior fire attack, which proved to be uh, futile. Uh, it went to a de defensive mode, which basically means we pulled all people outside and fought the fire from the outside of the building. Uh, fire conditions were such that uh, we weren't willing to risk anyone's life to, to save a building. At this time, we have no, no reported injuries. So we're, we're very fortunate there, and the weather conditions have helped us. It's not uh, not too terribly hot or, or cold tonight, and it just made it a little bit easier on us. We're just trying to keep crews hydrated. Obviously, with the with the gear we, we wear, it's very warm and hot. Uh, over time, our, our guys are subject to dehydration, so we're just trying to keep people hydrated and cooled off at a regular interval. Several different businesses. Uh, I believe there's a thrift store, a transmission repair shop, and uh, audio video uh, sales shop. We don't have any any uh, idea as of yet. Uh, the state fire marshal has been called in to help investigate, but, but the initial uh, appearance is it started on the second floor and we're gonna be going uh, probably through the night and and tomorrow as well trying to figure out exactly what, what caused the fire. But but the building overall is is a total loss. Edwards audio and video, the fire was stopped there. They, they may have some smoke damage, but overall they're their store should be uh, decent and, and still standing. But everything to the uh, east of that is it's gone. We've almost got the fire out at this time, but uh, we're going to have crews here all night long just to make sure it doesn't restart. And then we'll probably start the investigation heavily tomorrow. So probably today and and tomorrow. Obviously, this is going to be a long night for us, and uh, it's just very rewarding knowing that the. People support our efforts and, and are there to help us when, when needed as well.